first responders are facing challenges never envisioned a decade ago. The Department of Homeland Security Science and Technology Director through our Next Generation First Responder Program is looking at new technologies, the art of the practical. So what you'll see in this video are technologies focused on protective clothing, interoperable communications, Internet of Things sensors, all aimed at providing protected, connected, and fully aware capabilities for our first responders of the future. These are coming out of requirements from the first responder community, from fire services, emergency medical, law enforcement, through an alliance of industry, academia, and the first responder community themselves. What you'll see in this video are a number of technologies that are in development by ST that we hope to provide into the first responder community in the very near future. So common operating pictures, what we're striving to attain. The way a firefighter is going to look at an incident XYZ is going to be different than where a law enforcement officer is going to, the way an EMT is going to look at it. But by us all combining our, our strengths, we can enhance that common operating picture and be able to work more safely and effectively together. Future first responders will have integrated tools and communications devices that will enable them to work together seamlessly. Robust networks will facilitate constant voice communication and data sharing with commanding officers and other first responders. Responders will have real-time access to important data sources like drone video, medical records, building sensors and blueprints, and social media to enhance their situational awareness. As more data is available, analytics will surface key information and present it in a way that is easy to digest on the way to a scene or during an emergency incident. This will help responders prepare and increase their situational awareness without distracting them from their focus on their environment and the task at hand. I think some of the workshop prototypes that we're talking about here are going to have a drastic impact on first responders nationally. I think it's going to make it safer for the first responders, but I also think it's going to make it safer for the communities. All of these tools will allow first responders to work together in a safer, more effective way to do their best work helping their communities. This kind of information will take the anxiety off of uh, the responder and allow them to focus on what they need to focus on, which is patient care. It's taking the place of a lot of information that I have to uh, either pay attention to myself or we have to transmit to the command post. So I'm freed up to be able to actually uh, do my job. We're very encouraged about some of the gains in technology and how those gains might uh, translate into products that are going to help us do our job better, keep our guys and gals safer.